they're quickly becoming one of the most popular modes of transport. But the battery-powered devices pose a real safety risk. Yeah, that's currently showing 73% at the moment, so it's still got a bit to go. Jeff Neese now charges his e-scooter on a timer. After losing everything in a house fire in January. The cause? An old e-bike battery charging in the garage. Once the ceiling dropped, everything ignited inside. You now we had tile floors, made no difference at all. Just the extremity of the heat, you know, cracked tiles, just destroyed absolutely everything inside. E-bikes and scooters are powered by lithium-ion batteries, which are highly flammable. They can quickly overheat, shooting debris up to 10 metres. And the fires can't be easily extinguished with water. Uh, I believe this is from a toy car, which went on fire. They're on the rise, you know, probably about 15 to 20 per cent increase every single year. You know, we have to mean in, in scooters, in, in bikes, in power tools. Ahead of Christmas, consumer protection is warning buyers beware. Do not leave devices charging overnight, particularly in the house or the garage. The consumer advocate also recommends people avoid buying second-hand battery chargers, especially online, saying they may not meet Australian safety standards. When you lose everything, nothing's worth risking it. Um, you know, we were lucky that we didn't lose our lives. While lithium-ion powered devices are becoming more common, their batteries are not the kind you can set and forget. Grace Burmis, ABC News.